What's going on, everybody? This is A to Z Sports Cards back at it. Today is Thursday, and we have another episode, I think it's episode 54, of our online cards of the week. So we have this massive package that just came in. This is a Facebook buy, and I'm really excited to dig into that. But we also have these two older packages. Okay? These are, well, I got these all the way back last year, so we're going to just kind of preview these, rip through these really quick, and then we're going to get into the big package that I picked up. I'm really excited for the big package because I know what's in it. And I got some cool deals, some stuff that's going to be resold on Mercari. So I'll link my Mercari page in the description. Because so if, you know, I post a lot of stuff on Mercari. So if you see a really nice card and you're like, "Wow, I I like that a lot," always check Mercari. I always post on there. Uh, I I I keep like 50 50. Like I keep half the cards I get, and I post the other half that I own. Like maybe I have a duplicate of, or if I just have too many uh, rookies of one player. I tend to, you know, post them on Mercari. I got a couple right now. I sold a, a Michael Parsons uh, auto on there, and I've sold, you know, um, I'm working with someone for the uh, Tua graded card. So just a little plug there. Check it out. Anyways, let's get back into these actual cards. So, like I said, this was opened, a, like, a, opened, purchased a year ago. And I don't remember exactly what it was. I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. Probably someone who was doing really well a year ago. Maybe a baseball player or a football player. Not really sure. So what do we got? It is a baseball player. We have a we have a Garrett Crockett auto. So that tells me a lot about last year. Garrett Crockett. I haven't heard much about him this year, but this is number 11 out of 50. So that was a very low printed number. A low printed card. Very nice. They had a dollar on it. Uh, I don't think I paid it out. I think I paid a little more than that. Uh, I'll put the prices on the screen because I do not remember a year ago, but very cool. Not the biggest name right now, but you never know. Baseball players develop weirdly, so not bad. Not bad. I don't think it's good enough to replace anything in the back, but still very nice. We'll keep it on screen right there. Like I said, these are the like a year ago card, so maybe a year ago Adam would have been you know pretty stoked, but let's look at this next one. This next one. I got this all the way back. When did I buy this? Uh, February. So not that long ago, but let's see. This is February 2021. Got some red tape. We have a Ryan Mountcastle. I don't. Uh, maybe because I didn't finish the set. I don't remember. Uh, there's some sets I have that I have not finished, and I think I, do, I haven't finished Hoops 2022 for basketball either. But this probably goes to a set then. Ryan Mountcastle is something I did not have. So I'll go back through. Like I said, these aren't the most expensive cards, but I'll go back through and check if I have that one. And I, if I don't, then, I'm, then that set is done. Then good for me. But still, nice cool card, gold cup. Okay. All right, so got those out of the way. Let's get to the, the big package. This package has a lot of good value in it and a lot of cards. I picked up, a, it was $122 for the whole thing, if I can get it. Open without damaging anything. Maybe that way. There we go. 122. Picked up a lot of good stuff. We were originally at 86, and I made some offers on some other stuff. And through some impressive negotiations, I ended up getting all the cards I wanted. So let's see what cards they are. So we have some stuff. We have some penny sleeves and some maybe some great stuff. Great packaging job, by the way. This, these cards are not going to move. See if we can get some of these open. Try to get out the the cheaper cards first and save the more expensive cards for the end. Nothing too crazy. I think it was just a lot of one dollar, two dollar cards that you know seem to add up. But there is one card in here that I'm very excited to get. It's something that I not, I wouldn't usually buy. But we can get it open. There we go. I just want to, there, I'll just do it off camera. There we go. Here's the one package. And here's the second package. So more expensive, least expensive. Get these cards out of the way. So let's see, let's see, let's go through the least expensive first and we'll open the, the more expensive at the end. So these are all $1, $2, $3 cards. Uh, good color. I was going for a lot of color, not a lot of base. 
and just some good rookie players. So Bones Highland, that was a nice orange par uh, parallel from Donruss. Seth Williams, this was out of the set for Phoenix this year. I didn't, I got the set last year. I didn't get the set, uh, set this year, but I did pick up a lot of these rookies. He was one of them. Boogie Basham, Tyson Campbell, Quincy Roche, Cornell Powell, Vered Tucker, Asi what was it Joseph Asai, Kylan Hill, Brevin Jordan, Daz Newsome, Larry Rutschie the Third, Christian Barmore. So I'm getting tons of these. I they were posted. I didn't buy these all individually. It's not like these are all one card. The whole lot was like one card. I like one card. The whole lot was like one dollar, two dollars. So we're getting tons of these cards in there. I know they're not a lot of big names. Christian Barmore is probably the best one so far. Uh, Chuba Hubbard, also a good one. Nick Bolton. So we're getting some of the better ones. Anthony Schwartz. Amon Ross St. Brown. That was a good one. So I picked up a lot of these. Sean Wade. Okay. Going to the Patriots. Well, drafted, I think, by uh, the Ravens. Now a Patriot. So let's see how that plays out. Jalen Camp, he's the bane of my existence. I find him in everything. Monquez Stevenson, Greg Rot, I can never pronounce his name. Rasu, Rasau, Rosu. I don't know. I haven't seen it. I haven't watched a lot of Bills games this year with him playing. I use the bane of my existence. Jalen Suggs I had to pick this one up. This is a nice orange parallel for a couple of dollars. Uh, not. You know, we'll see what the Magic does this year. I mean, they got a lot. Uh, they got a lot of talent. So kind of a letdown this year. For his rookie campaign, but it's not bad. We'll see. Herbert Jones, who, you know, someone who stood out. Nice parallel. I have a lot of parallels of him from Donruss, so we'll see how it does. Evan Mobley, this is a good one. Uh, this was one of the ones in negotiation. I put $8 on this. They wanted $12. Um, I wasn't willing to go higher than 8 so uh, I just ended up, you know, I, I kind of made a good case myself. Hey, I bought so much from you. Can we just drop it down to 8 make the deal? And he's like, yeah, so... That was a good one. Very good. There's another one that also was the same. Jalen Green. This is also the case. $12 got it for eight. Not the biggest negotiation. I can get it all the way down to like the six, but I think that's a good deal. And then we have a Jalen Smith. So I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube about him. He, you know, easily forgot about Suns player, right? But oh, look at his mouth. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Never noticed that. But, like I was saying, easily forgot about. But he gets traded to, I think, the Pacers, right, in Indiana. And he starts balling out at the end of the season. So, for a good, I recommend good price. Just stock up on him a little bit. I'm not saying go spend all your money on, you know, some Jalen Smith PC stuff. But, you know, he's easily found in the value bin a lot of places. And, you know, he was getting, like, a double-double at the end of the season, which was crazy on a new team. So, we'll do how we'll see how they do. So that's what that's kind of like my mindset is about. Just check out what what is he capable of. You know, spend a dollar, send it us himself for ten dollars. Not that's a that's good margins I'm trying to hit. Okay, so those were all the cheaper cards, the lower end stuff, a lot of color, which we were going for. I'm not really buying base from uh, Facebook, but these are the higher end stuff. Okay, these are the like the five to ten to twenty dollar cards. Okay, higher end for me. So let's see, I'll pull, keep these off screen so you can take a look at them. So we have a Tyler Lockett. That was nice. This is the orange parallel. Going for a lot of color. So sweet looking card, like that one. This one was a cheaper one, but I'm glad I picked it up. A Trayvon Mooring, who played very well this year for the Raiders. And, you know, the Raiders, they're just, they're big, a lot of pushes. So if they can get... You know, deep in the playoffs this year, you might see this guy get a lot more credit. So we'll go with that. We have, I'm going to the cheaper cards first. Just kind of organizing. There we go. I have the last card I want to show you. We got our first Gabriel Davis. Okay, not a Buffalo fan, but, you know, he does sell really well in this area. And this is his pink parallel. Not super expensive. Uh... But, you know, stock up on him a little bit. I have a cool um, numbered card of him coming up soon, too. But cool pink parallel from Mosaic. We have a select die cut of Gabriel Davis. This is numbered uh, 355. 
This is Concourse, like I said, 355. That's really good. So, nice number, Gabriel Davis card. I think I got this for a pretty good deal. Uh, cheap. I think this is like five bucks for, you know, one of the Buffalo's shining stars. We'll see how he does this year. Continue off his playoff success. And now again, some really rare, cool ones. So, the first, we picked up a Carl Anthony Towns. This is an awesome patch. This is from Absolute. It is a rookie card. Very sweet. Uh, you know, everything with uh, Ru uh, Rudy Gobert getting traded. You know, that Twin Towers. We'll see how they do. Very cool. This is from Absolute. Numbered 8 out of 49. You see at the bottom right there. 8 out of 49. I just, it was really cool. This was a very cheap card, I thought. Uh, I don't know if he doesn't sell well. Um, he's had success. Uh, kind of down year this year, but that's okay. But it was just the patch. I've never seen that T before. So it'll be the Anthony. That'll be sweet. Or the Towns, I don't know. But still, very cool card. S something I don't see a lot of, and it's a rookie card, so had to pick that up. I think that's going to replace our Draymond Green as a very cool addition to the back right there. The next, the second coolest, we have a graded 9, and I usually don't buy a graded, Devin Booker. Nice Devin Booker graded 9 rookie card. So if the Suns happen to get Kevin Durant, I mean it might happen, it might not. I'm not, you know, I'm not work, I'm not a sports analyst. But if they do happen to get Kevin Durant, then I think he's this car is gonna sky up because their playoff contention just goes super big. And I know they, you know, had good runs in the playoffs this year, but Kevin Durant might be that missing piece to push him to a championship. So had picked this up. Graded nine. I don't think it was super expensive. I think that he had 40 on it. I got I put 30 out, he took it. So 30 bucks for a graded 9 Devin Booker. Wish it was a uh, 10. And it's PSA, so it's nice too. But 9, not bad. Uh, I might hold on to this. I'll post it on Mercari. Like I'll, I'll, I don't hold on to graded cards, but I think that's a good price for 30. I might sell it for 45. So at least I can get like 10 bucks out of it. But Or I can hold this on to uh, next year and see how he does and post it during that season. So I might do that. I might start posting more of the sport season we're in. So more baseball right now. But not bad. Not bad for a grade 9 Devin Booker. And we'll kind of replace Evan McPherson. I know I love that card a lot, but that's a cool-looking card in the background. And finally, this is a shocking card to get for me because I've never had a card like this before. We have a Kevin Garnett Kaboom. Kevin Garnett Kaboom. Very cool. I have never had one of these cards. They look sweet. Uh, I have to do some more research on this and what they go for. Very cool. I know the Kabooms are pretty pretty sought after, pretty rare. It's a thick card, too. Wow. We'll just take it out and just examine it. Uh, I thought it could be um, a reprint. I don't think it is. I have to do some more research because I didn't spend a lot on it. I think it was like these goes for 50 bucks online. I think I only spent 20 bucks on it, which is really good. Uh, but I'm not sure. Let me know if you think this is a reprint or not. I can't tell. I've never had a Kaboom. It looks sweet. There is some surface. It's like it's not beautifully on uh, surface. It has some... I may have a scratch here and there. Right over the O, there's a scratch. But not, not really worried about it. This is just a beautiful looking card and a very cool one that I've never had in my possession. So... Won't hold on to it. Not a rookie, so I don't really keep it. But one of those cards that you, if you see it out, you have to get it for twenty bucks for a kaboom. Had to, had to get it. And that is the last card. So that was one hundred twenty-two for all those cards. Not bad. I thought, oh, am I going to make a killing off these cards? No. A lot of the one-dollar cards right here, these single cards, uh, they're probably going to go in my PC or just hold on to the season. Um, just cool to get some of these guys. The Gabriel Davis is nice. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, Devin Booker, all, all good value. So that is it. That is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This has an AZ Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.